Hi guys, welcome to another short video, uh, another kit review, or first, well not a review, uh, first look review of the, one of the items Kilos Gear has sent me, or Kilos Outdoors as their website is, but it's Kilos Gear all their gear, is the Kilos Gear Air Sleeping Pad. Now this is a unit, it's not, I wouldn't say it's ridiculous size, but bigger than my other pad by a little bit, not a huge amount though. Um, but yeah, this is really to have a little first look on it. This is supposed to be R rated to four, which is interesting because I'm not sure if there's any insulation inside it or not. It looks like potentially a bit of foam in there. Um, but my pad that I always sleep on is the four class 700 from Decathlon, the long full size version. That is very comfortable for me with the baffles running lengthways. So I felt that lovely and I've camped endless times on this probably the last three years maybe a bit longer actually before lockdown actually kicked in so it's gonna have to be a beaut to miss it but this one is considerably thicker than what i've currently got because it's 10 centimeters thick nearly four inches thick uh, the length is 190 centimeters which i'm going to measure that actually because i've quickly laid on it when you really pump up hard it does pull in with the baffles but I'm gonna measure it at how hard I pump it up and see what it is, because I'm 192 centimeters long. Uh, not miles longer than it, and the likelihood is I'm not gonna fall off it on my feet hanging off the end for two centimeters at all, but I know the decathlon one's a little bit longer than that, so let's see. So it comes in a very, very roomy bag, which I'm glad of, because I actually have to ditch my decathlon bag because it's so tight to get it back into once you've packed it all up but that is miles bigger than you need but which is a good thing so it weighs like it weighs barely anything at all um couple of compression straps come around it which is really handy keeps it together little instructions nobody needs them don't be silly and roll it out to the size now a few key features on this pad very different to many, many other pads out there, which I will show you through. Down this end is the foot pump, which I have used. It is quite slow, that's the only problem. Um, I did pump it up just to see what it was like. It took nearly three minutes to pump up to what I wanted to, which is pretty slow. Uh, there is another valve on the other side, which releases all the air, but I could actually use my uh flex tail gear pro air pump for that so that'll go up really really quick anyway and probably better actually because you don't want to be messing around and getting up a sweat unless it's a really cold and you want to get warm and everything like that in the winter but yeah so the pad as it stands looks really really long massive massive long pad but like i said it bunches back up once all the baffles are pulling in uh, one thing about this that a lot of others don't have, they've got poppers all the way along. So if you've got two of these, you'll be able to pop them together like a double mattress, which some might like, some might not. But that is a pretty cool little feature. It doesn't get in the way when you pump it up on the single at all, but pretty cool little feature. Um, now, let's see how long this takes to pump it up by foot. So the easy way to do this is undo that valve and step over it with the valve open. Very simple, it's just slow. Let's see how long this takes. As you can see, sideways baffles, pumped up, still pretty squishy, which is nice because it is a very thick pad. This is how thick it is. This has got the built-in pillow on the end, so it is quite a bit thicker at this end than it is all the way down. But it is 
apparently four inches thick. And I'll say that is about right, not a man's measurement. But looks very comfortable. Let's measure it, see actually how long it is. So right at the end, walking all the way up to that end and across we are looking at one meter 88 that isn't even pumped up at full so one meter 88 just a touch shorter than what they say so 190 you'd have to have it quite squishy uh for there because it does put like i said the, the baffles pull in as soon as it gets pumped up it pulls in a bit more but you don't want it fully inflated anyway because it's too rock hard but i'm going to show you me lying on it I'm one meter 92, so you can see me in comparison to that. The big lump that I am. Overhanging the end there. And I'm on the end there, but yeah, it's overhanging slightly there. But it's not too bad, because obviously you're not stretched or anything like that. It is, yeah, and I'm side sleeping very good. I'm predominantly a side sleeper myself. It's a nice wide pad, so lying on it, you're not gonna be rolling off this. My arms are down by my side. Like I said, I'm one meter 92, six foot three, just under possibly, I think just under. Um, about 91, 92 kilos. And I fit on it perfectly. It's nice and nice and wide. I don't like narrow pads really. My decathlon is right on the limit of what I would have, which I'll show you the difference in a minute um, of them. Hope you not see my belly there. This is the one product which I really wanted to buy myself anyway. The main thing I want to test with this is, is it for, has it got a four hour rating? Is it warm? I'm going to take it out without my closed cell phone mat that I normally put underneath it and we will see. It certainly feels, it doesn't feel cold Len, it doesn't feel like there's any air inside it at all, which the decathlon one does, so we're going to see that um, and see how much of a difference that makes. I'm never going to get rid of the decathlon one because in the summer that's brilliant, you actually want to keep a bit cool. Um, yeah, nice and comfy, squishy, I could probably even let a little bit more air out of it, so be good. But let's see the comparison now of this and the decathlon one. Now the difference with the decathlon one is four class 700. This is still pretty long. Uh, it's lengthways baffles though. It's about the same length actually, just a touch longer than that. Lengthways baffles though, which I've become accustomed to really like. The only difference is this hasn't got a built-in pump, however, I do have the trusty Flextail Gear Pro, which is the lamp and the pump, so this takes seconds. So with this, don't even have to blow into it at all, just fit the nozzle inside, give it a double click, and takes no time at all absolutely flies up. I think it takes about 15 to 20 seconds. Don't want it too hard. Last buckle. There. Pumped up, done. Lids. I typically, they put these rubber grips on the four class just to keep it youth and slipping, but I actually don't like that because it grips the sleeping bag and pulls on it. So I turn that over and that grips the, the tent, which is quite nice actually. However, this is a very shiny material, so I might have to get an underneath, like a set of really thin silicon layer. I'm unsure on that one yet. But if you look at the difference in shape and size, really, there's quite a significant difference. So the foot end, as you can see, probably close to two thirds of the width. So the keyless gear is miles wide there, which I prefer. Actually, I really do prefer, and it's something which I've really been looking forward to using. It's quite wide at the top end and slightly narrow again at the head end there. No bit pillow, a lot less, I say a lot lighter. 
I say a lot lighter. The Kilos gear, which is supposed to be insulated, which time will tell, because it's not that heavy, actually. It's 778 grams when I weighed it with the bag. And my decathlon, I know, because I've weighed that before, is 572 grams. So, a couple of hundred grams difference, but there's a massive difference in size. I, like I said on previous camps, the size doesn't bother me about things and things like that because this isn't that much bigger, but if it is insulated, it does keep you warm, worth its weight in gold, and it's twice as thick, twi at least twice as thick. And got the built in pillow, so actually I might not even need to take a pillow over me, who knows? But we will see. Um, but yeah, two great pads, I think. The Kilos Gear one does look promising. If it is warm this weekend, I will be reporting in that video for that and I really do hope it is good because I have kept my eye on this for a while. Uh, when I went out with Ben Daily Outdoors up in the Peak District, it's got an X-Ped and I've been looking at those for a couple of years but the one which I want is always never in stock or when it is in stock, it's crazy money because everyone wants the large, like 5R rated I think it was. Uh, it might be a bit too overkill for me because I never really get that cold. Uh, pretty much live in shorts even in the winter throughout Christmas time, so not that bothered. But this, if this takes the edge off it, and it also, if I don't have to take away my closed cell phone roll mat, it'd be amazing. Literally, it's a little bit bigger than my decathlon, but without that foam pad, make a massive difference to my bike packing, more so I would say, um, because it is tight for room when you get it all on the bike especially with that reach some French trip. I did have to strap it on the outside of my tail fin, which wasn't a problem because it is reflective. So if the car doesn't see you and you're riding at night, it does glow up. So as you can see here, the difference, foot end, significant difference, much, much narrower. Up the middle, about the same. Keyless skill is slightly wider. And then the decathlon goes in at the head, which is good for fixing your pillow too, but the Kilos gear looks like a winner for here, but we'll see. We'll see. These Cathalon ones just a little over half. Just a little over half as thick. So yeah, promising, very promising. Again, hope you like that as a little insight of one of the Kilos gear items, the sleeping pad. I'm really excited to use. This is the one item which they have sent me that I really really wanted i'd have quite happily paid for this one so let's see how this goes this weekend so thanks for watching and see you on the next one